Welcome to another teachable moment for football officials. In this edition, we're going to be looking at the lay of game, uh, not so much mechanics. You could argue the way we call it is also mechanical, but a lot about philosophy. And for seven man crews, this will mostly be the back judge who calls that. Sometimes it's with the referee, some mechanics have it with the field judge or side judge. But um, in any case, we're going to talk about the delay of game and, and primarily when to call it and, and when not to call it. So we've got a video here and we don't have the referees ready for play. So we don't actually know if this delay of game is correct or not. But philosophically, we can talk about it. And I'm going to assume that we don't have a visible 25 because if we do that, Obviously, it makes it a lot harder to to work the 25-second clock. Now, in this situation, as you can see, we have a delay of game called just as the ball is being snapped. Now, there are a few issues, there are a few reasons why we really don't want this to happen if we can avoid it. Uh, the primary is that we end up looking very, very technical. It looks like we call the delay of game at 25.1 seconds and, and we don't really want that. So let's 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 break it down and have a look at it. Now let's say that we reach 25 seconds right now. Everybody can see the offense is not ready to snap the ball. So what we do is we kill it here. We call the delay of game uh, at 25.0 seconds uh, if the offense is not even ready to with the formation and everything because if we call it now everybody can see well that the offense wasn't ready so of course they're going to have to call it and nobody will complain and we can move on with the game now if they're right here and they're in hut 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 uh, and we reach 25 i would mind if we gave them 26 if we gave them 20 27 or even 28 if they're in their cadence and they're they're getting ready to snap the ball. Obviously, if it's a visible 25, we have to kill it. But if it's on the back judge's wristwatch, we can give them those extra two seconds. And then obviously, after the play, talk to the quarterback, talk to the coach, and make them speed up. Uh, but we, we really want to do what we can to avoid this situation where we kill it uh, at the same time as the snap is, is, is happening. So again, if we get to 25 now, kill it at 25.0. And if we get to 25 now, give them 26 or 27 uh, because that will just give us better game management. Now the last thing I want to point out here is in this specific game, this also goes to philosophy, um, The this is play number 103 where in the third quarter the uh, red team is behind by 50 points or, or a very substantial margin. So philosophy Philosophically, we don't want to call the lay of game on the team that's behind by a, a, a very large score at all because they're only wasting their own time and at this point we're trying to get the game over. 